Merry Christmas, Space Case by James Marshall. Two days before Christmas, Buddy McGee's dad made a surprise announcement. This year, we're spending Christmas at Granny's. But we can't, cried Buddy. My friend from outer space is coming here for Christmas. Not that again, said Dad. But it's true, said Buddy. It came for a visit last Halloween, and I promised to come back for Christmas. If you say so, said Dad. You can leave your little friend a note. But, but, said Buddy. But that was that. And on Christmas Eve, the McGee's went to Granny's. Guess what, Granny, said Buddy. The thing from outer space is coming to your house for Christmas. Oh, goody. Does it know the way? I left it directions, said Buddy. And it is very smart. While you're waiting for it, why don't you play with the nice boys next door? But the Goober twins were not nice. We're getting expensive presents for Christmas, they said, and you're going to feel really left out. Oh no, I won't, said Buddy. I have a friend coming all the way from outer space for Christmas. You must think we're really dumb, said the goobers. You'll see, said, the, said Buddy. If you're lying, you'll be sorry. Uh-oh, thought Buddy. On Christmas morning, Buddy sailed downstairs. Maybe it's waiting for me in the living room. But there was nothing from outer space there. Outer space is a long way away, said Granny. Maybe it just miscalculated. Maybe it just forgot, said Buddy. Suddenly from the front yard came a long, loud beep, beep, beep. It's here, cried Buddy. But it was only the goobers on their expensive new bicycles. Well, where is it, they said. Er, it'll be here, said Buddy. Your time is running out, McGee, said the goobers. We don't like wise guys. Gosh, thought Buddy, the thing had better get here soon. At that minute, moment, a few zillion miles away, the thing from outer space was attending a wild party. Suddenly it remembered something important. I'm going to be late for Christmas at Buddy's, it beeped. In a flash, the thing was on Earth, but nothing looked familiar. The natives didn't seem to have the right Christmas spirit. They moved closer. Merry Christmas, beeped the thing. The thing got out of there fast, headed north, and finally found Buddy's house. It was surprised to find no one at home. Perhaps the next door neighbor can tell me where they've gone, it beeped. But the next door neighbor didn't seem to know very much. Returning to the McGee's house to wait, the thing spotted Buddy's note. Holy smoke, it beeped. I better hurry. But it didn't get very far. Shame, shame, said the man in the blue uniform. Speeding, and on Christmas too. It won't happen again, said beeped the thing. Fancy foreign cars, grumbled the man. A few blocks away from Granny's, something attracted the thing's attention. Hmm, it beeped. Perhaps I can spare a moment. And it went inside the movie theater. Halfway through the movie, which was very entertaining, the thing had a funny feeling. Buddy's in trouble, I just know it, and it blasted out of the theater. Faster than the speed of light, it flew to Granny's. Buddy was in trouble. Your time is up, McGean, said the goobers, and they stepped closer. Buddy's heart was pounding, but before the goobers could get ugly, they found themselves turned into giant snowmen.
Say you're sorry, beat the thing. The goobers said they were sorry, and the thing changed them back into the two rotten kids they were before. Wow, said Buddy. I am glad to see you. Likewise, beat the thing. Granny and the thing got along well. They talked a lot about science, and after a big Christmas dinner, while Mom and Dad were taking a snooze, the thing took Buddy for a ride. Step on it, cried Buddy. My turn next, called out Granny. Buddy and the thing had a fine time flying over the neighborhood. And just for the heck of it, they chased the Googers around the block three times. The end.